Welcome to the ultimate track creator challenge in MX Bikes. I took a track map that was designed by one of my community members and challenged four different track creators to recreate the same track. I wanted to see the difference in building style, environment, and overall package. Oh, and to throw a little twist in there, I only gave him a week to do it. Here is the track design that I chose. I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Spitfire in the Discord for submitting this track. As you can see, the obvious reason on why I chose this was because of this insane corkscrew. I also felt like the track just had a pretty solid layout as it is. This corkscrew offered the creators a lot of ways to interpret this design, and I thought it would bring out a lot of their personality and creativity. All of these tracks will be released today, June 22nd, for free on MXB Mods, so make sure you check them out. Now that we have that out of the way, let's meet our creators and their designs. First up, we have Jackie Moon and his track called JMWTF. The first thing you will notice about this track is how good it looks from everything from the skybox to the dirt textures to just everything it just looks so good jackie moon also did a great job on putting a lot of lines in the corners as well as adding some pretty solid and challenging braking bumps throughout the track this is probably my favorite track as far as the environment and dirt texture and just the way that it feels i think jackie moon absolutely killed it on the overall flow as well the ruts are incredible the braking bumps are big but not too big the size of the jumps are good everything feels very proportioned there are huge sends there are small little doubles there are small tabletops huge step ups huge step downs and I really like what he did here with the corkscrew. Jackie put in a little bridge so that if you come up short, you don't fall down into the trenches. And speaking of trenches, boy, do you feel like you're down in them trenches when you're under the bridge. This is so cool and feels so unique from anything I've seen in the game before. It's like this massive multi-layer track where you're above and then you're below. I mean, I guess that's the whole concept, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's really, really cool. This is a track that I could see people playing like crazy in online lobbies just because it's unique, different, flows really well, pretty beginner friendly, intermediate friendly. It's just, it's just a good one. Well done, Jackie Moon. Let's move over to Baked Minotaur's track. Okay, okay, I understand. Obviously, this track is nowhere near as good looking as Jackie Moon's track, but hear me out when I tell you this thing absolutely barks. Baked let me know he didn't really have that much time during the week I gave him to put into the track, and so there are clearly some things that he needed to test or add, but man, I will tell you that this, this track is one of my favorites, and the way it flows, the sizes of the jumps, just his interpretation of everything is actually really, really good. I think that if he was to take this track and put a little bit more time into it, it would it would compete with that Jackie Moon track for sure. I mean, just take a look at this corkscrew area. Instead of doing a bridge or a gap or something like that, my man's just decided to do a little twisty turny all up and down the hill here and just totally different and it's really cool to see the different perspectives of each creator. I'd also like to point out that these step downs are some of the most fun you're going to have in bikes. I don't know what it is about them, but there is just something about sending these things like a little hip jump step down that just makes stocky walky feel all nice inside. Next we have a track by Slabs, and like Bake, he told me he really didn't have very much time at all put into this track, so there's a lot that isn't quite finished. However, I greatly appreciate him putting in the time to help me out and submit something. And honestly, just like Baked, I think if he was to take, you know, a few more hours and put it into this track, I think that the overall flow of this thing is really good. And his interpretation of this uphill roller section is totally different from anyone else. I think, I don't know, I think if he took the time to put into this track to finish it up, which he's more than welcome to do, this track would actually bark. I think it's really, really good. Okay, let's move on to our final track. And I know this is the track you all were interested in when you saw his name in the very beginning. And that is, of course, Hearn. One thing about Hearn that I always appreciate is his packaging and branding of his tracks. Everything from his thumbnail in game, to his teasers on social media, down to the track name. Hearn is just built different when it comes to branding and he's just got it figured out. Anyway, let's get to the track. When you load in, you'll get immediate Hearn compound vibes. And if you've ever played Hearn compound, you know that that's a large W. This is probably the most difficult track of the group, and not in a, not in a bad way, but it's just a little bit more technical. Things are a lot bigger on this track. Everything's extra, extra large. From these massive step ups to the step downs to this absolutely gigantic corkscrew jump that is certainly not for the faint of heart. I, I could tell you that if this was real life, Donkey Wonky wouldn't be within a six foot pole of that corkscrew jump. Perrin also said, screw that bridge, and if you don't make it, LU, just get good. 
So make sure you get good and you clear the gap or you'll be having yourself a sad day. But overall, Hearn's track, the textures on the ground, the environment, the flow, just little step up things here and there. It's just so unique and well done. And Hearn is just a large W. <laughs> like I said earlier, all of these tracks will be available on mods today. So make sure you check them out and let me know down in the comments what your favorite track is after you try them out. If you're a track creator and you want to take part in one of these track creator videos in the future, please let me know. I think I have a Supercross track challenge starting here pretty soon. So let me know if you want to get in on that. Again, thank you to these four dudes that took the time to make a track just because old Docky Walkie asked them to. And thank you for releasing them to the community so we all have more tracks to rip. I greatly appreciate you guys and I think all four of you killed it. That's all for me guys and if you guys need anything else, please let me know and I hope you have a blessed day.